is Squash from Team Liquid. This is my basic champion guide to Kale. So right now, the reason that Kale is good is that a lot of her options of items in her build path got buffed. And she's always been a really strong lane bully that can push turrets, uh, push champions in. So since the main turret is weaker, you can actually just push minion waves in over and over again. And then the minion waves will just take down turrets on their own. So you are able now to get the turns done a lot faster than before. So it makes, uh, makes Kale a stronger pick overall. So I would say Kale is a really strong pick in solo queue. She has a lot of lane power. She's really safe laner. You can pressure uh, pretty easily and doesn't require much mechanical skill. And she scouts really well throughout the whole, game, the whole game. So I would say she's one of my top picks right now for solo queue. For laning, what you're supposed to do is just push up waves over and over again and make sure you get uh, healed off with your Ws whenever you can. Since you'll have a lot of excess mana if you're only using your E's. And just try to um, save your Q for if you get the gank. The slow is actually really strong, has a very long duration and really nice, really nice percentage to it. So just make sure you don't die and you can just push waves over and over again. And then eventually you'll take on the turret I and mean, get your items. And then you can be, um, be a really big threat started to carry the game. But overall, she's not that great for escaping ganks. Um, she's very slow champion, and you most of the time are going to be pushed into the enemy champions. So just keep in mind um, the possibility of being ganked, and always play around that and save your cooldowns for whenever you think you'll be exposed to a gank. For uh, team fights, a skill, what you want to do is uh, keep an eye on whoever is going to get focused in a team fight. It could be even a tank or anyone who's exposed. Um, just making them vulnerable is a really big um, asset to a team fight. So try to save it obviously for a carry champion that's going to win you a team fight. But if you see some a champion that's going to jump in and take a ton of damage from the enemy team, then you can use ult that. Just your ult usage is definitely the most important thing. And other than that, you use you'll just be slowing down for peel on your carries or for yourself with your Q and you'll just be hitting stuff with your E and trying to rack up stacks off your Rage Blade and do tons of damage. A really good tip to keep in mind in Kale for the laning phase is that her splash range of her E extends to quite a bit. So you can actually hit champions that are playing really safe just by hitting the ranged creep line with your E and be a, do a, deal a decent amount of damage over time uh, as you push down the wave. So you won't be aggroing the minions because you're not actually hitting the champion, but just hitting the minions that are really close or relatively close to the enemy champion will allow you to get a lot of poke down as well as push down the uh, mini wave. For Runestone Kale, I like to go for attack speed marks, AP Quinn, scaling armor seals, and scaling CDR and magic resist on glyphs. So these are the masteries I use on Kale. For my skill order, I like to max E first, taking my first one into my E, and then if it's a melee matchup, that I can push in and pressure with my auto attacks. Um, maximum AE obviously is the best thing to have. But if I'm playing against a squishy champion that it will be ranged and hard to hit with my E, then actually maxing your Q could be a really good ability for the trading. For item build on Kale, I like to start with the orange ring. And then after that, I get two to three the orange rings because it has a lot of nice stats that scale real well throughout the, late, the game and rushing the Ginsu's Rage Blade this is a really strong option right now. Afterwards, you can go for a Nashor's Tooth to complement your attack speed um, bonuses from your E. And then afterwards, you can do a Lich Bane into defensive items as you only need really three defense, uh, offensive items to do a lot of damage. I like to go for either Merc Treads or CDR Boots depending on what I need. And for um, defensive items late game, you can go for a GA, you can go for Banshee's Veil, etc. Just make sure you're pretty tanky as, um, because most of the time you can be ulting a teammate in a team fight. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos here at lawclass.com. She is a really strong split pusher with a strong attack speed steroid. And she is pretty decent AD and AP scaling on her kit added already. So um, I say that's what makes her strongest right now. And she 